Because there's a lot of stuff that's legal that we do to animals. Like, when do we decide what's legal and what's not legal? Because factory farming should be fucking completely illegal. So Joe Rogan has just said factory farming should be illegal. The comedian made the comments in a recent episode featuring Dr. Paul Saladino, also known as the carnivore MD. I said I have like an animal-based diet. You know, some people are plant-based. I'm animal-based. I love that word. Yeah, animal based. Yeah. Just steal what they're saying. And just before we get into the interview between Joe Rogan and Dr. Paul Saladino, if you don't know this doctor, he was recently in the doctor's show where he was questioned about his all meat carnivore diet. As an attorney, I would ask you, you're a medical doctor, is that correct? Absolutely. And you are a psychiatrist, am right, I correct? I did a residency in psychiatry. So what do you know about nutrition? What we are saying is if all you eat for your whole life ever is just meat, that's not good. There are literally thousands of studies showing the benefits of polyphenols. Let's start with those, for example, so plant-based nutrients in the diet. Anyway, back to Joe Rogan's podcast, which has pretty much become a battleground for discussing veganism in recent times. Joe Rogan is often inviting unqualified keto proponents onto the show, including most notably last year, chiropractor Chris Cresser, who was absolutely schooled by the Game Changers producer, James Wilkes. Right, do you know how do you read a forest plot? Yes or no? I don't. James, you made an excellent point. Uh, Chris, do you have anything to say in closing? No. Oh, thank you for well, coming I, I, doing this. I really appreciate the time. Sorry if it felt a bit combative. No, you knocked it out of the park. You did a fantastic job. Based on this podcast, it was perhaps surprising that Joe Rogan invited Dr. Paul Saladino onto the podcast recently. But I guess Joe Rogan is a populist, and as he did the carnivore diet earlier in the year, he's interested in this way of eating, and he used the podcast with Paul Saladino to talk about the foie gras industry. The weird thing about it is the ducks go to the feeding pipe. They go to it. They want it to happen. Like in our eyes, like this forced feeding is a terrible thing. But they actually gravitate towards that pipe. So here we have Joe Rogan appearing to say that ducks in the foie gras industry actually want to go to the feeding pipe. But this is at odds with the huge amount of investigative footage showing the cruelty and forced feeding in this industry. Factory farming should be fucking completely illegal. And it's legal in California. You can get factory-fed animals and you could buy them left and right. The life of a pig that you eat for bacon is a terrible, tortured life. So Rogan is criticizing factory farming and as a hunter is a regular proponent of grass-fed meat. There's a lot of really interesting discussion about the sustainability of grass-fed, grass-finished meat. The main misconception about grass-fed meat is that it's good for the environment. In actual fact, it's worse for the environment than factory farming, which is backed up by a new study which confirms what we knew before. As the study authors put it, our results show that diets are the main determinant of greenhouse gas emissions, with highest greenhouse gas emissions found for scenarios including high meat demand, especially focused on ruminant meat and milk, and lowest emissions for scenarios with vegan diets. What this piece of research showed and was backed up by with a 2018 piece of research that is considered the most comprehensive analysis ever conducted exploring the relationship between farming and the environment is that a plant-based diet is the most sustainable diet that we can choose as humans. And what's interesting about this study and also the 2018 piece of research as well is that they looked at grass-fed and free-range ruminant farming and concluded that even those styles of farming, the ones that we often see as being more sustainable, were also catastrophic when it came to the impact they have on our environment. And overall, with all the food choices that we have, a plant-based diet is by far the most sustainable diet. I'm not in favor of doing weird shit to animals. 